And we're here with the Saul Cerritos in the limelight. I'm joined by Checkers forward Riley Nash. Uh, Riley, it's been a pretty good year for you in terms of getting to play in the National Hockey League and the American Hockey League. Talk to us about so far how the year's gone for you within the Charlotte Checkers. Uh, well, it started off a little slow, you know. Uh, I had a pretty good camp up in Carolina. I felt confident. And I came down here and I wasn't putting many points on the board. Felt like I was playing okay, just not where I wanted to be at. And then uh, kind of as the year went on, I got more and more confident and things started going pretty well for me. And then a few injuries came, so that's kind of slowed it down lately. But hopefully I can pick right up. You, you did have a great camp. In fact, you were one of the last guys sent down from the Carolina Hurricanes. Uh, you did receive your first call up, get a chance to play in the National Hockey League for the first time. What was it like stepping out of the ice, uh, playing an NHL game? You know, it's uh, it's once in a lifetime opportunity. It was 22 years or 20 years in the making of uh, hard work and, and playing hockey and, and just striving for that goal. And for that to actually come true is just uh, really is a dream come true. How about uh, in terms of experience, let's go back to the Charlotte Checkers now and the long run they had last year going all the way to the conference finals. In terms of what you were able to accomplish as a team, what did it also mean for you personally to go that far and see that kind of intense game? Well, it's huge. I mean, uh, playoff hockey and the experience you gain in that is invaluable. Um, you can't you can't really simulate that or learn anything unless you go through it and go through the, the rigors of a playoff run. And I think... Uh, doing that last year and, and just seeing what it's all about you know, you're kind of more prepared this year for hopefully what we can do is another long run and and see where we can use that experience and maybe even go a little bit further i ask the guys who uh, do the uh, salsarias in the lineup to talk about the possibility of making an even longer run of the postseason um, can you judge for us the room the talent what you guys have been able to accomplish thus far uh, and assess whether or not you think you can do what you did again and possibly have a chance to play for the calder cup of the finals well, yeah, I think in the room we obviously believe we can get there. Uh, I think we have the talent. Uh, it's just a matter of, you know, if we if we come to play and really bring our work boots and, and make sure that we take care of business. Um, yeah, obviously everyone plans on going to the Caller Cup final. It's just a matter of doing it. So it's hard to predict. You know, only two teams end up making it there, and uh, along along the way you need some luck and you need you need some bounces and. Hopefully we can set ourselves up to get those bounces and, and deserve a little bit of luck. So I think uh, in the room we're pretty confident and uh, we believe in ourselves and I think that's one of the most powerful things when uh, you're going on a long, long run like that.